Hi, welcome back to CBSC Board Economics. I'm Saddam Hussein here. Today we'll be discussing about a very important concept called mixed income. What exactly is mixed income we'll be learning today and how is it different from other incomes? We have seen while calculating national income or for that matter in economics, there are four factors of production, land, labor, capital and entrepreneurship. We already know that to these four factors of production, we pay factor payments or factor incomes that is rent to land, wages and salaries to labor, we call it also as compensation of employees, interest to the capital and profits to the entrepreneur. We have one more concept called as mixed income. Mixed income is very important while calculating national income in income method. Let's see what mixed income is. You must have seen in the economy, there are some corporate enterprises, big enterprises, Reliance, Tata. So they engage a lot of labor, capital and entrepreneurship. So they can differentiate between these factors of production and the factor payments they are paying to them. At the same time, you see in the economy, there are some unincorporated sectors or for that matter, we can call them as self-employed people. These can be doctors, these can be lawyers, these can be small tour operators, and for that matter, these can be coaching institutions or small shopkeepers. We know these people provide all the four factors of production themselves. So we, we, they don't engage separately land, labor, capital, entrepreneurship like big organization. And moreover, these unincorporated enterprises or self-employed people do not maintain profit and loss statements and balance sheets. They do not distinguish their income from work and income from entrepreneurship. That's why their income is called mixed income. You know why we call their income as mixed income? Because it has all the shades of four factor incomes in it. Because they themselves provided land, labor, capital, entrepreneurship. So in their income, they have a bit of rent, a bit of wages and salaries, a bit of interest and a bit of profits. That's why it is called mixed income. So this mixed income is a very important concept while calculating national income by income method. So in income method, we take rent, interest, profits, wages and salaries, or we call them as operating surplus. And then the last one, we take it as mixed income. So this is very important while calculating national income. Let's see what is written here. Mixed income. Mixed income should be included while calculating national income by income method income of the self-employed or unorganized sector as lawyers doctors tour operators small shopkeepers small coaching centers is called mixed income these people do not prepare profit and loss accounts or balance sheets moreover they only provide all the four factors of production such as land labor capital entrepreneurship they do not distinguish their income as income from property and entrepreneurship. Since their income consists of all four factor incomes, such as rent, wages and salaries, interest and profits, it's called mixed income. Hence, mixed income has important significance while calculating national income by income method. I hope you got it. I repeat once again, mixed income is the income of the self-employed people like small doctors, lawyers, teachers. It's called mixed income because it has a mixture of all the incomes in it. While calculating national income, mixed income has a 
very significance in India because majority more than 70 percent of the people in India come under unorganized sector that's why mixed income has a big significance for a country like India that's all we have time for today I'm sure you must have followed it till we meet next time it's goodbye from Saddam Hussein best of luck for your exams please don't forget to share subscribe like and comment Goodbye.